Hello everyone, I am Dr. Mahadev, Medical Head, Medical Unit 3, Vizag. Uh, today we are going to have a small question and answers with uh, Karnakar Pati sir, uh, Director of uh, Cardiothoracic Surgery. Hello sir. Hello. Sir, today we wanted to know about like uh, why CABG or a bypass surgery. Can, can you please tell us why people need to know about CABG? Yeah, it is a very <coughs> common surgery, very common cardiac surgery. And in fact, uh, this is one of the most commonly performed surgery across the world. Uh, popularly, it is called as bypass surgery and uh, full form is coronary artery bypass grafting. So the blood vessels which supplies the heart, those when they get blocked, uh, heart does not get the blood supply. So to give blood to the heart, uh, we do this surgery. Heart is giving blood to the all the body. But unfortunately, this disease constricts the blood, uh, blood supply to the heart. So by bypass surgery, we bypass those blocks and give blood supply to the heart. That's why it is popularly known as bypass surgery or CABG. Yeah. Nice sir. And I uh, would like to know, uh, are there any different types of uh, CABG or bypass surgery? Yes, uh, it is a different terminology. Before uh, all these things, people used to, used to tell open heart surgery. But uh, in fact, we don't open the heart, but uh, that terminology was there. Nowadays, uh, we do uh, bypass surgery popularly with the beating heart. That means we don't stop the heart while doing surgery. Heart will be beating and we will be doing, that is a technical expertise we got over last uh, 10 to 15 years. Before we are stopping the heart and what we call the on-pump coronary artery bypass surgery. So slowly we have evolved this technique and in fact uh, we should be proud that in India we are doing maximum beating heart surgeries of CABG and uh, I was one of the investigator of all, all over the world when coronary trial was there which has proved that coronary artery bypass surgery and beating heart is safer and more effective. So we, in our center, we do almost 99% of cases on beating heart uh, bypass surgery, the CABG surgery. And off late, uh, we have developed another technique, what is known as minimal invasive CABG. That means instead of making a big incision, we do this bypass through a very small incision so that cosmetically it is good and patient can be discharged within two to three years, three days instead of waiting for five to six days in the hospital. And still more advanced now it has come with the advent of the robotics, what we call robotic assisted CABG. Oh, nice sir. Sir, uh, one more thing sir, I, uh, we, we want to know like what might be the presentation like uh, presentation or uh, symptoms of a patient with a CABG. Like how do he look or how do he behave when he... Okay. So usually uh, patients come with uh, symptoms to the uh, cardiac department. First they go to the cardiologist and majority of times the patients will have a heart attack for which they come and once the heart attack is treated then we do the coronary angiogram and we found that patient will be requiring uh, bypass surgery. Or if it is a small or a single region, we do a uh, stenting. Uh, but if the patient has not got heart attack, usually they present with uh, uh, there is heaviness in the chest or sometimes pain in the chest radiating to the hand or jaw or upper part of the body. Or sometimes they will feel breath, breathing difficulty while walking for a few distance and Commonly, sometimes they will get chest pain or chest discomfort after taking food. So when they take food, uh, there will be pressure on the heart and that's how they get the pain. And this is the point where many people, they misdiagnose and they go uh, take gastric tablets and they delay the surgery. So whenever there is a pain in the chest after food, uh, we should think of it could be a heart problem. They should consult the heart specialist. And these are the very common presentations how they present to us. So what are the risk factors like uh, risk for any patient or age or something like that? Can you tell me like what should people should, people should consume or we should stop using it? 
Yeah, the respecters are a very important question. This is a very nice question, uh, which is uh, everybody should know it. The most important respecter for uh, coronary development of coronary artery disease is diabetes mellitus. Many patients, when they develop diabetes, usually sooner or later they develop coronary artery disease. The other respecters are high uh, lipid cholesterol level, blood pressure if it persistently high, or elderly people, or of late we are seeing even with COVID infections also people are de developing coronary artery disease because of that. Besides this, there are, if the, we are taking more um, uh, sugar uh, foods or foods with high uh, cholesterol, those are also respecters, so we should be very moderate in our food taking. Junk foods, we should avoid junk foods, drinks like uh, Coca-Cola and all these things. These All these things increases the risk of developing heart disease. Even obese people, if they are very obese, weight is very much, or uh, people with sedentary lifestyle, they are the people who develop heart disease requiring bypass surgery. And most important, which is the stress. Excess of different type of mental stress or work stress, physical stress, all these also can be a very important risk factor for development of coronary artery disease. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for your valuable time and uh, helping us to know about what is bypass surgery or CAPG. And uh, this would be a valuable information for our people who are watching. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you.